Hello and welcome to a quick video tutorial on how to download and install any free VST into FL Studio. This is the site that I linked to in my description of my last video and this video and any future video featuring Synth1. And now that you've gotten to this site, you need to click this button to immediately leave it. Click the top link which will take you to Synth1 and it will download it for you. Now, since I've already got Synth1, this installation process doesn't work entirely. So I'm going to get hold of a brand new free VST that I've never actually tried before. And at the end of this video, we're going to get a little bit of a bonus of me messing around with a free VST that I have no idea what it is. So we're going to get a quick sort of demonstration of a free VST. I'm going to go find one. I'll be right with you. Okay, I couldn't pass that up. This one's called Big Funkster. So I'm going to just download this and I will show you how I installed Big Funkster. And how I installed this, you can do it with any other free VST, just a different name. So let's go. Download Big Funkster. There we go. God, I hope this comes with the DLL file that we need. There we go. BigFunkster.dll. So with any free VST or synthesizer you download, it will come with a DLL file. This is what you need. So go into your FL Studio root folder, which will be, I'm going to go via this method. So File Explorer, C, Program Files, uh, not Common Files, no, I need the Image Line. There we go. FL Studio 12, Plugins, VST. These are all my DLLs. As you can see, I've, just, I've tried Synth 1 a few times. It's not quite working. Get rid of you. Don't need you. So these are all my free VSTs that I have. A lot of these I, I do use, a lot of these I don't use anymore. Hopefully, Big Funkster will be among the ones that I do use. So let's drag Big Funkster in there. There we are, right at the top, Big Funk. So now we need to get it into FL Studio. This is the part that is a bit difficult. But when I saw an easy method, I just had to, I had to basically make this video because I was looking in how to reinstall this synth one that I got. I was like, I need to make a video on this and it took me a while to install it. There's got to be an easier way and I found this super easy way and I want to just share it with you guys now. So I've installed it, right click on here, refresh plugin list. That's all you got to do. That is it. And it makes a little folder with, called new where they just sit. There we are. I missed it twice. There we are, Big Funkster. The, the, the way I did it before was drag and drop in files and the tutorial I watched was from like 2012 and it was so out of date, it was unreal. So it, hopefully this will help you reinstall and get loads of new free VSTs. Look, there it is, right there, and it's working. Right, so from here, you just need to save it in the preset list and, oh, <clears throat> you need to just go over to the side here, make sure you click in the right section that you want it to be in, so I want it to be in Synth, and just click Save. There we go. There, it's added now. It's fun. It's called Funkister now. Okay. But yeah, I've added it in there now, so um, hopefully that'll work. I don't know why it didn't work before. Probably because I had Synth1 named wrong. But hey, there we go. Let's play with it. I'm not feeling the funk quite yet. Let's mess around with it. So we're going to first get into a mixer channel. See if we can get a bit more volume out of that. I'm not going to compress it. It's going to... There we go. So, what can we do to Big Funkster? Let's see if there are any presets that came with it. Oh! I'm feeling the funk, kind of, not really. It's come to my attention that all these patches are the exact same high pass synth. Okay, so that's what we've got to make things ourselves using this synth. Right, okay, what have we got here then? S Oscillator 1. Can we just get like a basic sine wave to work with and then no. uh, How do I turn down uh, LFO rate? No, I just want oscillator level. I'm not feeling the funk. I don't think this is a very good VST. It, what I did just select it because it was called Big Funkster. I want to get a sound out of it yet. This is M4 in the editing room, watching back the footage, realising I didn't say an entire word about the synth while messing with these dials. So, what do I think of it? Um, the sound is weak, there's no little to no bass in any of the oscillators, and frankly, the filters aren't sharp at all, and making a synth bass, which is the most funky thing you can do, is practically impossible. So I don't like it. There we go. 
So now hopefully you know how to install a free VST into FL Studio, be it Funkister, please don't get it, Synth1 and a myriad of other free VSTs that I own that I hope to demonstrate to you in future videos. Hopefully free, free VST Thursdays if that's a thing that I can do, if not it'll be free VST when I remember. Uh, thank you very much for watching and yeah, goodbye!